Hey everyone, very quickly I'm going to show you how to perform the airbag coding uh, just in case you have replaced the airbag control module or uh, you reprogrammed it. You need to use the scan tool to do the coding. So normally after uh, having any accidents, if any of the airbags uh, is deployed, you have to replace the airbag control module or some guys they just reprogram it with the new software. So after any of these two cases you have to perform the airbag coding and for that you need to use the scan tool i already connected the scan tool uh, find find your car in here okay tl this one is the 2015 one and i go to i go for this system and just wait for the connection to happen. All right, if you see in this page, I have a couple of options like reading the fault code, erasing the fault code. They are just like other systems, but I have the ACU variant coding. ACU is airbag control unit. So if I click on the ACU variant coding, I have this explanation, this function uh is uh when re when you replace the acu you need to set up the airbag control airbag control module so it, uh, so ignition switch must be on and you, if you press enter so you see you need to get the code uh from actually from the hyundai or kia website because this one works both on hyundai and kia normally after 2011 you need to do the coding uh, I remember for the cars before 2010, before 2011, we didn't need to do any coding. But after that, uh, because the software is already changed, we need to do the coding after airbag control module replacement or reprogramming. So you just need to get the code, which is normally a four character code. Uh, you need to just get it from the dealerships or if you have access to Hyundai and Kia website, uh, you can just use the you can use the win number uh, you can get the four character pin code and if i press on the enter if i press on the enter right now the only thing i need to do is just to enter the code and that's it that's going to be uh, the airbag control module coding on hyundai and kia vehicles after 2010. if there is anything wrong in the coding you may have two fault codes one of them is B1683. Obviously, if you do the coding properly, if you have the proper code as well, you won't have any fault code. But just in case, if you have B1683, you need to do the coding as well. Procedure is going to be exactly the same as I explained to you. But just in case, if you are using any other scan tool like Hyundai and Kia original scan tool, you may see this page. You will have ACU variant coding and some other explanation for the condition as we had before so you just need to get the code from the hyundai and kia website or uh, from the dealership and you will be directed to this page as you see uh, you need four character code after entering that one you will have coding completed okay if you see the coding is not completed don't repeat it again and again there might be some problem uh, on the code and the second one is uh, b1762 ac coding error as well this one is going to give you fault code just in case if you entered uh, wrong code or the procedure that you performed was incorrect again after having this fault code you need to do the coding exactly the way i explained thank you very much for watching